Okay, so Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, text two. Number, you know, chapter 2, text 6, a very famous verse. Savoy pum sa paro dharmo. Savoy pum sa paro dharmo. Yato bhakti radokshaje. Yato bhakti radokshaje. Savoy tu kya pratiyata. Hai tu ki apratiyata. Yayatma supersedati. Ayatma suprasidati. Savoy pumsa paro dharmo. Savoy pum 
Ito bhakti radokshaje. Hoi tu kya prati yata. Hoi tu ki aprati hata. Yayatma suprasiddhati. Yayatma suprasiddhati. Okay, anyone else? Sabe pumsam paro dharma. Sabe pumsam saparo dharma. Yato bhakti adhokshaje. Yato bhakti adhokshaje. Ahai tu ki aprati hata. Ahai tu ki aprati hata. Yayatma suprasiddhati. Yayatma suprasiddhati. Anyone else? Finish. Ladies, gentlemen. Sa on. Sa there. Boy, certainly. Boy, cat and hat man. Kum sam. Kum sam. For mankind. Paroi bashariya. Paroi bashariya. Para. Para. Sublime. Aalo. Aalo. Dharma. Dharma. Occupation. Ishtar. Yata. Yata. By which. Yes, that is Bhakti. Bhakti. Devotional service. Shedmatanya Abhidane. Adog Sajay. Adog Sajay. Unto the transcendence. Ahai Tuki. Ahai Tuki. Causeless. Pratihata. Pratihata. Unbroken. Unbroken. Yaya. Yaya. By which? Atma. Atma. The self. Supersedity. Supersedity. Completely satisfied. Okay. Translation. The supreme occupation, Dharma, for all humanity, is that by which men can attain the loving devotional service unto the transcendental Lord. Such devotional service must be unmotivated and uninterrupted to completely satisfy itself. Tarjume. Ishtahal ya dharmay a'la baray tamam bashariyat an as ke ura be suyi khidmat abedane aashigane be khudavand mutaal hedayat konad. Ba in khidmat abedane برای آنکه بتواند ذات را راضی سازد باید مداوم و بدون انگیزه باشد and present the most essential part so that fallen people, the world in general, might easily take it up. The Vedas prescribe two different types of occupation for a human being. One is called pravriti marg, or the path of sense enjoyment, and the other is called nivriti marg, or the path of renunciation. The path of enjoyment is inferior, and the path of sacrifice for the supreme cause is superior. This material existence of the living being is a diseased condition. Um, of actual life. Actual life is spiritual existence or Brahma Buddha existence, where life is eternal, blissful, and full of knowledge. Material existence is temporary, illusory, and full of miseries. 
there is no happiness at all. There is just a futile attempt to get rid of the miseries. And temporary cessation of misery is falsely called happiness. Therefore, the path of progressive material enjoyment, which is temporary, miserable, and illusory, is inferior. But devotional service to the Supreme Lord, which leads one to eternal, blissful, and all cognizant life, is called the superior quality of occupation. This is sometimes polluted when mixed with the inferior quality. For example, adoption of devotional service for material gain is certainly an obstruction to the progressive path of renunciation. Renunciation or abnegation of ultimate good is certainly a better occupation than enjoyment in the diseased condition of life. Such enjoyment only aggravates the symptoms of disease and increases its duration. Therefore, devotional service to the Lord must be pure in quality, that is, without the least desire for material enjoyment. One should, therefore, accept the superior quality of occupation in the form of devotional service to the Lord without any tinge of unnecessary desire. Fruit of action and philosophical speculation. Translate? Yeah, no, yeah, you can translate that far. I'm sorry. I touched my screen and it jumped. You know. Okay. Go ahead, translate that much. Okay. Shah has had a high jump back to the Dante Swami Shila Pope. By never had she suit of Goswami, the Nukosi, or such a Hakiman and Mishraniya pass of Mila. Hakiman as with the Hoski had done get Jami Ekoto had a son of the Shodera Polase. و اساسی تا این بخش آنها را ارائه کنند تا اشخاص فرو افتاده یا عموم مردم بتوانند به آسانی به آن دست یابند و آن نحوه عمل یا اشتغال برای انسان مقرر میکنند یکی پراپرتی مارگا که راه فروتر است و به لذت حواس میپردازد و دیگری نیفرتی مارگا که راه برتر است و به انقطاع میپردازد و راه قربانی برای حدف اعلاست زندگی مادی وضعیت بیمارگونه برای موجودات زنده است زیرا وی برای زندگی روحانی و حقیقی ساخته شده است که به آن رحم و بوتا می گویند رجوع شود به شیمت و باتان چهار سی بیست و سرشار از ابدیت شعف و دانش است موجودات موجودیت مادی مادی توهمی و مملو و رند هیچ گونه شاد در آن یافت نمی شود و فقط در آن به تلاش عوض برای رهایی از رنج برمیخوریم و قطع موقت تو بار کازه خوشبختی خان می شود پس راه لذت مادی تدریجی که موقتی و فرانیست در حالی که تابدانه به خداوندگان را به زندگی جاودان پرشعف و مملو و از آگاهی سوق می دهد اشتغال عربلا به حساب می دهد. گاهی اوقات این اشتغال اعلا به علت ترکیب شده و عوامل مادی بوده می شود و در آن اختلاف جا بید. هر اقصال چنانچه خدمت آبد از مادی به قطعا مانه این در راه پیشرفت تدریجی انجتا به رسیدن به قطعا اشتغال We have completely, we have purposely denoted dharma as occupation because, okay, finish it, I'll finish. We have purposely denoted dharma as sorry, occupation. Sorry, sorry, Grimaldi, there is interference. Huh? Some interference. Sorry, we have some interruption. Have what? Exactly. We don't keep it clearly. Mm. No, I just want to finish. I didn't finish the whole purport. We have purposely denoted Dharma as okay, occupation. Okay. Because the root meaning of the word Dharma is that which sustains one's existence. A living being's sustenance is, is to coordinate his activities with his eternal relation 
with the Supreme Lord Krishna. Krishna is the central point of living beings, and he is the all-attractive living entity or eternal form amongst all living beings or eternal forms. Each and every living being has his eternal form in the spiritual existence, and Krishna is the eternal attraction for all of them. Krishna is the complete whole, and everything else is his part and parcel. The relation is one of servant and the served. It is transcendental and completely distinct from our experience in material desire, this material existence. This relation of servant and the served is the most congenial form of intimacy. One can realize it as the devotional service progresses. Everyone should engage himself in that transcendental loving service of the Lord, even if the present condition state of material existence. That will gradually give one the clue to actual life and please him to complete satisfaction. Still there? Okay. Yes, 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 I, I will translate. قطعا انقطاع به منظور رسیدن به نفع پایی قطعا اشتغال بهتر است تا لذت بردن در موقعیت بیمارگونه زندگی چنین لذتی فقط بیماری را تشدید می کند و مدت آن را افزایش می دهد بنابراین خدمت آبدانه به خداوند باید از کیفیتی پاک و خالص برخوردار باشد یعنی بدون وجود کمترین خواسته برای لذت مادی بر این انسان باید اشتغال برتر را به صورت خدمت آبدانه خداوند بدون کمترین اثری از خواسته غیر ضروری عمل سر بخش و قهور و پندار فلسفی اختیار کند این تنها می تواند شخص را به آرش دائمی در خدمت خداوند هدایت کند ما عمدن واژه دارما را به عنوان اشتغال معنی کرده ایم زیرا ریشه لغوی آن به مفهوم آن چیزی که موجودیت انسان را حفظ می کند است بقای موجود زنده از طریق هماهنگی اعمالش با رابطه جاودان او با خداوند متعال کرشنا به دست می آید کرشنا محور اصلی و نقطه اتکای همه موجودات زنده است او در میان تمامی موجودات زنده یا اشکال جاودان جذاب کل است در دنیای روحانی تمام موجودات زنده از شکل جاودان برخوردارند و کرشنا جذابیت جاودان برای تمام آنهاست و موضوع شیفتگی ابدی آنها را تشکیل می دهد کرشنا کل کامل است و هر چیز دیگری جز و ذره ای از اوست و بین این دو رابطه خادم و مخدوم حکم فرماست که رابطه متعال و روحانی است و کاملا متفاوت با تجربیات ما در زندگی مادی می باشد این رابطه خادم و مخدوم سازگارترین شکل صمیمیت و نزدیکی است و دلنشین ترین نوع رابطه را در سطح روحانی تشکیل می دهد که انسان با پیشرفت در خدمت آبدانه به درک آن نائل خواهد شد همه حتی در مرحله مقید کنونی زندگی باید خیش را مشغول خدمت عاشقانه روحانی خداوند کنند و از طریق آن تدریجا معنی حقیقی غیز زندگی را در یعنی به رضایت کامل است Okay. Yes. Idam Bhagavatam Nama. Idam yes. Bhagavatam Nama Puran Brahma Samitam Uttama Shloka Charitam Chakara Bhagavan Rishi Nishreya Saya Lokasya Danyam Shastaya Nama Hat. This Srimad Bhagavatam is a completely spiritual Purana and is composed by Vyasadeva and his maturity and it's good for everybody, good for the whole world. So we're very fortunate that we have this. We're very fortunate to have this Srimad Bhagavatam. It's very rare. But, but of course, it's by the mercy of Krishna, of course, that it exists in the first place, but that it was handed down, you know, that the followers, you know, the Brahma, something, they kept the Bhagavatam intact, and it came all the way to us. 
و ما خیلی خوشبخت هستیم که به لطف کریشنا این توسط خودش ارائه شده و در برهما سامپرادایا اومده دست به دست توسط پیران روحانی رو پایین اومده و به ما رسیده So uh, until Prabhupad for most purposes was only in Sanskrit language maybe there was Bengali translations maybe Hindi و ما خیلی خوشبخت هستیم که در حقیقت توسط شیلا پراوپاد این به متن به انگلیسی برگشته و گرنه شیمات با باتام تا قبلش فقط به سانسکریت و هندی بود در این صورت اصلا دیگه برای خیلی از مردم در دسترس نبودش موس پیپل نبر هرده بود ایون این اندیا حتی مردم خیلی از مردم در هند هم قابل دسترس براشون نبودش این کتاب Vaishnav is of all types and they all know Srimad Bhagavatam, but especially the Gaudi Vaishnav. Uh, actually, there is so many interruption in, the, in your voice, Umar. Uh, interruption? Let huh? me... I don't know why. Yes, yes, yes. It is because of our internet, I think, not, not yours. Okay. Uh, so... Anyway, Prabhupada went to a lot of effort. We know the story many times, I hope. It's very inspirational to translate and get it published. Especially this first canto which he published in India was painstaking work with no money. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur told Srila Prabhupada that if you get money, print books. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Pira Rohani and Srila Prabhupada told him that if you get money, you have to get money in the world, you have to get money in the world. At that time, he didn't have money. At that time, he didn't have money. But he printed books anyway. But he printed books anyway. He had a little bit of money, so, you know, he could do little by little. Then he would sell a few to get more. So he was very dedicated, you know. Now the Srimad Bhagavatam is being studied all over the world. A phenomenal thing. So this sloka is very, you know, essential one. The uh, sages, you know, they want to know the essence of all the scriptures. To make it easily available to everyone. So, describing Dharma. Dharma in English usually gets translated as religion. But more than that, it's basically the essence, the essential quality of something. So we have two dharmas. 
we have our dharma here that you know we have certain work or certain occupations and then our real dharma is that we're spirit souls we're servants of krishna so here and this is also in 18th chapter of Bhagavad Gita but the supreme occupation is when we can use our I can't remember the Sanskrit but our dharma of this body uh, to move towards Krishna um. Krishna says one can attain me oh. one can attain me by doing his work for me Krishna says one can attain me by doing his work for me so it doesn't matter when one's occupation is if he's offering everything to Krishna if he's doing it for Krishna even we find like in the Jagannath story there's a street sweeper and he wanted to see Lord Jagannath and Lord Jagannath made arrangements So he arranged Rathiyatra so everybody could see Krishna. <laughs> also our temple, our not our temple, but the Krishna temple in Udupi there was another, some kind of sweeper or something. He, he couldn't go in the temple because he's not of a high caste. Um, wow, you the thing is going on. So, the deity Sorry. turned around now in the back of the temple there's a window yeah, where anybody can see. Uh, I don't Okay. Sorry. Anyway there's so many interruptions. Anyway, it doesn't matter, you know, what our work is, what kind of birth we have, what kind of body, it matters that we're using whatever we have for Krishna. Um, if a billionaire gives a million dollars it sounds like huge money it's, oh that's wonderful it is wonderful but for him it's, he can't notice the difference in his bank account. He's keeping, you know, hundreds of times more than he's giving. But if a rich man, a poor man gives, you know, everything or at least, you know, as much as he can afford, uh, I mean, as much, he gets much more benefit. He's making a sacrifice. Devotees can worship Krishna at home. And their home becomes a place, you know, a special spiritual place. All the food is offered to Krishna, the Bhagavad Gita is being chanted, the Maha Mantra is being chanted, so it's a holy place. It's offering to Krishna. Abhidhi, 
تمرین میتونن توی خونه شون در حقیقت دیتی پرستش در حقیقت خداوند رو پرستش بکنن و با پرستشی که انجام میدن دارن اون چیزی که رو ماها مانترا رو میکنن و با باید گیتا میکنن و این کل مکان رو روحانی میکنه این همون چیزی هستش که ما میتونن He doesn't have to leave his home and give up everything. He can use it for Krishna. So it says, you know, that's our desire. We know that we can't immediately, you know, maybe give up everything or something, but we can know that this is the goal and working towards that. این برمیگرده به اون آرزوی شخص ما مشتاق این نیستیم که یه های ناگهانی بیاییم همه چیز رو ترک بکنیم بریم به سراغ کرشنا There are so many seminars about setting your goals and you know how to reach your goals and but their goals are they don't know what's a worthwhile goal they just want to make more money or usually that's what they want یک ما چه شکلی میتونیم از هر چیزی استفاده بکنیم برای کریشنا و چه شکلی میتونیم از پولمون استفاده بکنیم برای که کریشنا رو پرشکوه بکنیم مهمه So the basic says dharma artha you know they do some religious activity some yagya to get money بنابر این از یه طرف دیگه این دارما فقط آرتها هستش So, like, you know, Hindu people and anyway, they like to worship Durga and Shiva because they think they're very easily pleased and they'll give them money, they'll give them riches. You're afraid of Krishna because he's called Hari, he takes away the thief. But he's a special thief. He only takes away things that, that are hindering our progress to reach him. He also gives to people who are serving nicely. He says, I, I preserve what you have and give you what you need. Hare Krishna. Yes, wow. again. Sorry, sorry. We know Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, you know, for those who always think of me, I preserve what they have. And I carry like what you lack. I don't get the point. Sorry, there's so many. Krishna says, I preserve what you have and I carry what you lack. Do you want to call again and see if it gets better? Sometimes, sometimes that happens. Try it. Hang up and call again. Because this, no, it's ridiculous now. It's every couple of times a minute. No. Okay. Hang up and call again.
Just hang on a minute. Haribol? Haribol? Goranga. Hare Krishna. I don't know why. But... Okay. Yes. Better now. Better now. Yes. I ch I changed my connection. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. One is good. It said the connection was poor. So, Krishna says, "I preserve what they have, and I carry what you lack." So, we see like Prabhupada, materially, of course he had his nothing materially, no money, no friends in America. But he had absolute dependence on Krishna. To carry out the order of his guru. So that we can see the results. Now that Lord Chaitanya talks about being a gardener and he has produced so many fruits of Krishna Prima. And he's asking everyone in the world to help him because he can't distribute them all. There's too many. So those fruits manifested as Srila Prabhupada's books. And from the books came so many devotees. Those are also fruits of love of God. Those are the fruits of Prabhupada's faith and love for his Guru Maharaj. So Prabhupada never wanted to take credit for anything he accomplished so much. He just said it's all the mercy of his guru because he followed his guru. So that's a desirable trait, this humility, complete dependence on Krishna. And complete faith that Krishna is going to help you. No doubt. No fear because of not having anything. No. Just to get a passport, probably had to go to so much trouble. Had 
And then to get some kind of paper, you know, so we could travel would be more trouble. And Krishna just kept giving him after much endeavor, much endeavor. So that he was teaching us, don't give up, keep trying. Many times we think, well, I'm not making any progress spiritually. You know, in a humble state of mind, I have still so many defects. But Krishna will always help. So an important thing in this verse is he's a hoy to come causeless. No in what is to come, it's in the sloka. Okay, yes, a to come has There's no reason for it. It's not because you did a certain thing. It's because of the mercy of the Lord that you tried to do anything and then Krishna has mercy on us. Causeless mercy. A common man is lamenting, oh, why is God giving this to me? Why I don't have money? Why I don't have a good family? Why I'm in trouble? I'm a good person. And a devotee is thinking, why am I getting so much mercy? I don't know what I've ever done to deserve it. So it's the complete opposite. The daytime for the devotee is night for the conditions. Then there's other two words, unmotivated and uninterrupted. So that uninterrupted we find many times in different words, satatam and nicham and all this, all the time. And uninterrupted. And you never stop. So the, the, the closer we get to that, then we'll be more and more satisfied. And then unmotivated. No, it's just like, you know, when, in, when the words are there, like with, without form, without this, without that, it means without material form. Desireless, when, when the Vedas say desireless, it means no material desires. It, it, it means the desires have become spiritual and you just want to try to please Krishna. When we say and that's the process of, you know, is changing the direction of our desires. You know, before we might have wanted to go to Nepal so we could get lots of intoxication, that was me, or we want to go to America thinking we can make a lot of money, or we want to go somewhere if we have money, we want to go to a big holiday place. 
بنابراین خیلی ها وقتی که میخوام برن مثلا فرق بکنی تو نیپال فکر میکنن که اونجا میتونن برن مواد مخدر خیلی زیادی مصرف بکنن یا میخوام برن آمریکا فکر میکنن میتونن برن اونجا خیلی پول زیادی به دست بیارن Now we want to go to Vrindavan or Mayapur, the holy land. So instead, you know, we've changed our desire of what, where we want to go, where our work is taking us. But there has to be motivation. You know. So there's many motivational speeches you can find on the internet. And now even devotees, you know, are giving motivational speeches, but it's to motivate people to serve Krishna, to give up their material life. So we won't do anything unless we're motivated, but the, the, we have to be motivated to please Krishna. Motivated to serve the spiritual master. And Krishna says, Sarva Dharma, give up all the different dharmas. That means, you know, different rituals for the demigods and all that kind of stuff. We don't have to do that. Give, surrender to Krishna and how to do that. In the previous verse, he tells us how to do it. In this verse is Bhagavad Gita 1865. And so he says, Manmana Bhava Mad Bhakto, Prabhupada said, all we need to do is those four things. That's not a big jug yet, it's not an expensive, it's not, you know, torture or anything, it's just the right work to do with our mind. <laughs> so we hear Prabhupada speaking, read the books, he mentions that verse many, many times. Krishna says, think of me. He means that Krishna standing here in front of Arjuna, two-armed with Krishna. And then become my devotee. So we have to learn how to be a devotee. We have to take help. We need instructors. Like an athlete, they have a coach, personal trainer. Now they even have a psychological coach. Because controlling the mind is the most important thing for accomplishing anything. So we need a guru, we need help, we need help from all the devotees. So just like an athlete, you know, he gets the, the, the big star, he gets all the credit, right? But without so many people helping him, he couldn't do anything.
اما بدونیم که خیلی آدمان زیاد دیگه بودشون بکنیم بکنیم نمیتونن این کار رو انجام بدن like these race car drivers you know. So they can become the highest paid athletes, they can become the most famous. And but to do that, they need so many mechanics and so many, you know, people telling them which way to go. And به مکانیک های خیلی زیاد و متخصص های مختلف خیلی زیادی احتیاج هست بشته اون ماشین They, there's a big crew that specializes to change the tires and fill up the gas tank in 10 minutes or one minute, you know, so they don't have to stop very long. Otherwise, they, if they had to get out themselves like we do at the gas station, you know, they would be way behind by the time they got moving again. Yes. Uh, Someone else is calculating which kind of tire to put on and so many things. We can you know, Even for material things, everybody needs so much help to accomplish anything. But to become a, to learn how to be a devotee, Krishna says, you need a teacher, you need a guru. We need scripture. And we need devotees to show us by example. It inspires us to see how other people are doing better than us. So, you know, we, we're not alone. And Prabhupada was alone, you know, by himself, and what, materially, but he was always thinking of his spiritual master and his instruction, and Krishna and Parampara and all those things, and he was with them. The spiritual, you know, Just by remembering them or having their picture, you can be with them. It's different than an ordinary person. So I like to use this internet, you know, how many people have worked to, so this internet functions, you know. <laughs> Computers, and, you know. Computer. We're not on the level like previous ages where the guru could do by telepathy or something, you know, and communicate with disciples far away. But Krishna is very kindly, you know, providing all this stuff so that, and, you know, most people use it for all nonsense, but uh, we use it for Krishna. Um, So, do we have any questions or anything like that? I get to the side that it.
I don't know how much time you have. Um, very nice to connect with you all again. And I hope the earthquake didn't damage devotees' houses. Or, you know, no, no, no damage, but there is great fear in, in Tehran. Uh, yeah. About 90% of people um, get, get, get out of their home, and there is uh, huge, very crowded, very tra bad traffic all the night, and it was horrible. <laughs> Just completely had an issue. And because of the, like, when they came out with their automobiles, uh, the pollution of the air go to the highest degree in the last three years, and it was uh, its index was about 200 in Tehran. And they said that um, please, some some people says that please uh, evacuate Tehran. And, but they again tell tell the people that no 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 don't need to evacuate because the highways full of traffic and completely um, mismanagement <laughs> in Tehran. Yeah, that's what happens. Very, Everybody panics. Yes. Because earthquakes usually have aftershocks, you know. <laughs> there is one question, Bumar. Okay. Yes. Hedya uh, Mataji, I am Bhaktin Hedya here, uh, asked about that how we can uh, use modern psychology in the service of Krishna? That depends. Sometimes it can help devotees who are, you know, really distressed. If you're a psychologist yourself, you know, some of them, there are some nowadays that recommend people read the Bhagavad Gita. So, you know, somehow devotees can find a way to use anything in Krishna's service. We just have to be careful, you know, that we're really using it for Krishna. You know, we use modern medicine so that people can be healthy and you know, so they can fix their broken bones or something, and then they can work for Sorry, them. sorry. Is it possible to you to... Uh, repeat your question, sorry. So, there's many different kinds of psychology, you know. Uh, but psychology means the study of the mind. It's supposed to mean that. Comes from Greek, which means study of the mind. Some, some, some from Greek? From Greek language, and it means mind, science of the mind. Psych so if it doesn't contradict the Bhagavad Gita, many of it doesn't, then we can use it. But sometimes, you know, they give lots of medicine that turns out to have bad side effects. And so there's different kinds of psychology, you know. Some is, I don't know very much, but, you know, I know there's different techniques. Because in Kali Yuga, so many people are psychologically distressed. Yeah. 
the ultimate cause is that they're identifying with the body and the body is so, you know, you can't get any pleasure from it and they become bewildered. So, you know, along with whatever else we want to teach people, actually you're not the body, you're actually the spirit soul, you're an eternal, beautiful, spark part of Krishna. Okay. Thank you so much. And I have a question about. Uh, this is not a question. I, I'm sometimes uh, get some discussion with uh, Muslim people about this property marga, liberty marga. Uh, actually, most of the time it seems that uh, the scriptures uh, have some inspiration to, for people to do. Poverty marble, not nibriti. And in Bible and Quran, we cannot find, especially in Quran, uh, we can find the many verses that uh, inspire persons to accept the nibriti marble. And why so that? Well, that's what uh, Narada criticized Vyas because he had done that too much in the Vedas. ازشون پرسیدم که چرا اتاق مقدس در حقیقت بیشتر پرافریتی مارک یا راه لذت حواس رو بیشتر توصیه میکنن و نه نیبریتی مارک رو و حتی قرآن آیات کمی رو داره که راجب نیبریتی مارک یا انتطاع باشه و بچلا و مارک رو پاسخ دادن که این بیان به خاطر همین هستش که ناراده اومده فیلاسات رو خطاب و تنبیه قرار داد گفتش که so, except for the Srimad Bhagavatam, which is called Amala Purana, you know, the Puranas are also full of all kinds of yagyas and different things in order to gain in the material world. That's it, try to, try to get people to stop being sinful, you know, and, and live it. In all these scriptures, there's also the, the idea of surrendering everything to God, but it's not, it's not the prominent thing. But different people get find different things when they read. So, you know, some people read that and they find, you know, all the talk about the Supreme Lord and giving up, you know, and surrendering and serving. And loving. It's there. So, like the Ten Commandments, I th is that in the Quran also? What? Sorry. The Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not, you know. Somewhere from the Old Testament. So, most of them are like that. Don't steal, you know, don't covet your neighbor's wife, you know. Think. But it also says that you should love the Lord the God more than anything else. So people can focus on different things. And just some people will, like the six Goswamis, they studied all the scripture to find, you know, the, the verses that are stressing bhakti because they're kind of hidden. <laughs> Uh, 
ریشه های عشق رو خدمت کردن به کریشنا رو به دست بیارید نه برای یاگی ها و این چیز ها Yes, completely. Thank you so much. You know, like the Quran stresses marriage at an early age, so that people get entangled in marriage and taking care of their own family instead of running around. You know, because men are generally lazy or you know lusty, and but if they have a wife and they somehow feel duty bound and they have children, then they work uh, to support the family and stay out of trouble. So, you know, it's there, but, but the Srimad Bhagavatam is Dharma Projita Kaitavo tribe. rejects all kind of religious activities which are materially motivated. It's all about bhakti, serving Krishna. So it's called the spotless Purana. The other Puranas have so much about different yagyas and, you know, going to heaven and, you know, this and that. Different types of yagyas. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm very glad you're still intact and maybe not so much afraid. Uh, when Prabhupada was going to California, uh, at that time there were predictions that there would be gigantic earthquakes and California would just fall into the ocean, at least Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, Many predictions. And did you get that? Yeah. I don't get the point, sorry, about what you said. When Prabhupada was going to go to Los Angeles the first time or something, there was okay. room, there was predictions all over that there was going to be a gigantic earthquake and it was on the fault line and it would be finished. So some devotees were telling Prabhupada you shouldn't go there, it's a dangerous place. He said, you know, we'll chant Hare Krishna and fall in the ocean. Don't worry. And it never happened. And if you study, you know, because I was around then, some of the people that made these predictions had been deadly accurate on many different predictions like that. But somehow or other, around that in the 70s, uh, many, many of the predictions never happened. That happened at the same time that so many devotees were joining Hare Krishna and there was chanting parties all over America. And books were being distributed all over America. 
probably a transcription that has set set up to me. So, and, you know, they, when Hiranyakashipu and Hiranyakashipu were born, there were many, many earthquakes and floods and, you know, huge storms and hurricanes, everything. Even before they were born. <laughs> they were in the womb. And then the Bhagavatam says that this is the result of demons taking birth. So more demons are taking birth around the world because they've made it a nice place for demons. You know, there's lots of gambling, lots of, tough, lots of animal slaughter, all the things demons like. But also many more devotees are taking birth. So, because so if we get more and more devotees then that, that'll change everything of course there's always in the material world there's always a place of misery there's always problems <laughs> So we don't know, you know, exactly why anything happens, but it's for different reasons. The same thing will happen for a devotee and for the non-devotee, but it's for different reasons. <laughs> different, the different results come. You know. Okay. Thank you so much. So should Wonderful. we finish? Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. I'm very happy to be able to connect with you people. It's a great honor. It's such a nice country. And many of us are praying that you know, something will change and we can start to visit there freely. <laughs> Meanwhile, we just accepted as Krishna's mercy. Okay. It's testing Thank you so everybody. Much. It's Krishna's test for everybody. And, you know. All right. Thank you very much. I don't Thank know. you so much. I forget how to say in your language. All glories to the assembled devotees. Gaur Premanadi Hari Hari Bo. Okay. Bye bye.